Hello friends, welcome to risingpearl.com. Today we are learning about series 3 trigonometry. This is episode number 16 and today's topic friends is trigonometric ratios of complementary angles. So let's dive right in. Now whenever we talk about trigonometric ratios it's always about an angle and it's always about angle in a right triangle. So here we have drawn a right triangle ABC such that angle B is 90 degrees. Now, what do we mean by complementary angles? We have learned in our earlier classes that complementary angles, the definition of complementary angles is if the sum of two angles is 90 degrees, then we call those two angles complementary angles. So, if we take a look at our right triangle ABC, now we know that angle A plus angle B plus angle C some total of three angles in a triangle is always 180 degrees. Now angle B itself is 90 degrees. So we have angle A plus 90 degrees plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees or we have angle A plus angle C is equal to this 90 degree. It goes on the other side 180 minus 90 is 90 degrees. So what we have is we have angle A plus angle C is equal to 90 degrees. So if we, if we have the sum of two angles is 90 degrees, then we call those two angles complementary angles. So by that, we have angle A and angle C. Angle A and angle C are called complementary angles. Why? Because if you add them, you get 90 degrees. So in other words, whenever we have a right triangle, one angle we know is 90 degrees the other two angles are always complementary because if you add them you get 90 degrees. So friends this is about complementary angles. Now what about the trigonometric ratios of complementary angles? So here we have our same triangle ABC. We are going to write the trigonometric ratios for angle A first. So let's write the six trigonometric ratios for angle A. We want to write sine A, cos A, tan A, cosec A, sec A, and cot A. So we know that these are the six trigonometric ratios and we want to write for angle A first. Now if this is angle A, this is the opposite side, BC. This is our hypotenuse, always the side opposite a 90 degree angle and this is our adjacent side. So sine A is the ratio of opposite side BC divided by hypotenuse AC. Cos A is adjacent side AB divided by hypotenuse AC. Tan A is opposite side BC divided by adjacent side AB. Now, for cosec A, sec A, and cot A, they are, they are just the reciprocal of sine, cos, and tan respectively. So cosec A will be AC by BC, AC by BC. Sec A will be AC by AB. And cot A will be AB by BC. So friends, you are going to get to know why we are writing each of the trigonometric ratios just in a moment. Remember, we are trying to establish the trigonometric ratios of complementary angles. So we have, we have established that angle A and angle C, these are complementary angles in our right triangle ABC. So we have just noted the trigonometric ratios for angle A. Now we are going to do the same thing for angle C. So same triangle ABC, this time we would want to write the ratios for angle C. One important thing to understand is for angle C, this is the opposite side. This is the opposite side. This is still the hypotenuse, side opposite to 90 degrees. And this is the adjacent side. So let's write our trigonometric ratio. So sine C, cos C, tan C, cosec C, 
sec C and cot C. So sine C will be opposite side AB divided by hypotenuse AC. Cos C will be adjacent side BC divided by hypotenuse AC. Tan C will be opposite side AB divided by uh, the adjacent side BC and cosec C will be reciprocal of this so it will be AC by AB sec C will be AC by BC cot C will be BC by AB so at this point friends we have written the six trigonometric ratios for angle A and six trigonometric ratios for angle C. Now we are going to compare these two. So for example, let's go back to the six trigonometric ratios for the angle A. So sine A is BC by AC. So BC by AC. So here which is the ratio BC by AC? We notice that cos C is BC by AC. So in other words, what we have here is that sin A, which is BC by AC, is the same as cos C. So we have sin A is equal to cos C. Similarly, if you look at cos A, we have this is AB by BC. So AB by BC, AB by BC is sine C. In other words, so sine C is same as cos A. And cos C is same as sine A. Similarly, if you compare them, you will see that tan C is the same as cot A and for this one cosec C will be equal to sec A, sec C will be equal to cosec A and cot C is equal to tan A. Just simply by comparing which ratio maps to what you can establish this very clearly. So one interesting way to think about this or I, I should say to remember this is that if you have sine of one complementary angle that is equal to cos of the other complementary angle. That means a sine is related to cos. Sine of one angle is equal to cos of the other complementary angle. So cos of one complementary angle is equal to the sine of the other complementary angle. Now because sine and cos are now taken, what about tan of one complementary angle? So tan of one complementary, one complementary angle is related to the cot of other complementary angle. Because the sine and cos are taken, so tan of one complementary angle is related to the cot of other complementary angle. And for cosec sec, cosec is equal to the sec of other complementary angle. So sec is equal to the cosec of other complementary angle and cot is equal to the tan of other complementary angle. So in other words, we know that the relationship between sine and cosec, right? It is inverse, meaning that cosec is equal to one by sine. And again, it is always about a particular angle. I'm just, you know, removing the angle for now. So cosec is equal to one by sine Similarly, sec is equal to 1 by cos and tan is equal to 1 by cot. But when it comes to complementary angles, sine is actually related to cos, meaning sine of one angle is equal to cos of the other complementary angle. Right? Similarly, cos of one complementary angle is sine of the other complementary angle and tan of a complementary angle is equal to cot of other complementary angle. So I know that this sometimes can get a little confusing, so why don't we do one thing? So here, let's clean it up like this. So sine A, so in our triangle ABC, this is 
angle B is 90 degrees. So angle A and angle C are complementary. In short, instead of writing the angle sign like this, we are just simply writing A and C. It means the same thing. A means angle A and C means angle C. So sine is related to cos. So cos is related to sine. Tan is related to cot. This is important. So because sine is mapped to cos, cos is mapped to sine, tan is mapped to cot. And so cot is mapped to tan. And cosec, which is basically the inverse of sine, is mapped to sec, which is inverse of cos. And sec is mapped to co cosec. One other point that I would like to make is, also notice that, for example, sin A is cos C. Remember that A plus C is 90 degrees, right? Because complementary angle. So I can write C as 90 minus A. Just by simply rearranging, taking the A to the other side, I can write C equal to 90 minus A. In other words, I can write this angle. So here, all the C's, I can replace this by saying cos 90 minus A. This is kind of interesting way to write the same thing and understand that we're talking about complementary angles. If you write it this way, it feels like you are writing all the relationships in terms of only one angle, that is angle A. So what we are saying is sine A is equal to cos of 90 minus A. Similarly, cos A is equal to sine of 90 minus A. Tan A is equal to cot of 90 minus A. Cot A is equal to tan of 90 minus A. Cosec A is equal to sec of 90 minus A and sec A is equal to cosec of 90 minus A. So I know friends, if you are watching this for the first time, it may sound a little confusing. I will strongly recommend that you go over this video maybe at least like, you know, uh, two times or one or two times till you get a hang of it. This is very important because in the next webisode, we are going to take a look at how can we really apply this knowledge and it, you will see how it will really open up how we look at other trigonometric angles. That is not the standard ones which is 0 degrees, 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 45 degrees and 90 degrees, but some of the other angles.